Hi, it's Dr. Gabal, and I'm here today to talk to you about your Bulkamid injection that's probably coming up, and that's why you're watching this video. So Bulkamid is a wonderful um, agent that we've been doing for a few years now in the United States, and for about 12 or 15 years in Europe, it's been done. It's a urethral bulking agent, much like women get done in their lips, although we just do it in the urethra. And so it helps to close off the urethra so that with coughing, laughing, sneezing, you no longer have the leakage, which is called stress incontinence. Stress incontinence is not be is called that not because it makes you stress, but because any kind of stress or strain, um, jumping, laughing, sneezing uh, ha ha causes you to leak. And so that's what this helps with. And generally, uh, usually about two weeks beforehand, we'll have you see your primary care doctor. He or she will do an EKG and some blood work to uh, make sure your heart and lungs are healthy and that it's safe for us to do this under anesthesia. For the week before, we ask that you stop any blood thinners. That means no aspirin, Motrin, Advil, Aleve. If you have a headache or anything else, then Tylenol is the only thing that's okay in that week before. Nothing to eat or drink after midnight, the night before. You'll go to the outpatient surgery center about an hour and a half to two hours before the scheduled time. I will see you there that morning. The anesthesiologist will meet you there that morning. And then you will be completely asleep or under a light uh, general anesthetic. I just don't want you wiggling during the procedure. Your legs are up in stirrups. I go into the urethra with a very short injecting scope. And in the urethra, in four little areas, I'm injecting this bulking agent that then will cl close off the urethra so that now with coughing, laughing, sneezing, any kind of stress, you should not be leaking. It, you'll notice a difference right away. Um, you'll be in the recovery room for a little bit. We make sure you can pee before you go home. It's very rare that you can't urinate. It might happen more often in an older woman who um, already has some bladder muscle weakness. But for my younger patients, I've never seen it happen where you can't urinate after the procedure. And you'll go home, you sleep off the anesthesia. After 24 hours, you go back to all your normal activities. There's no limitations at all for sexual activity or exercise or anything else, which is why it's such a nice procedure to have done. Again, you'll notice a big difference right away. And then what are the risks? There's a small risk of bleeding. You will not require a blood transfusion but you will see a little blood in the urine. You need to make sure you drink lots of water in order to help flush that out um, and prevent blood clots from forming in the urine. There's a slight chance of an infection, but we give you one dose of IV antibiotics during the procedure to help prevent uh, any kind of urinary tract infection. Uh, there's really no discomfort associated with this, possibly a, a small amount of burning with urination. So drinking lots of water helps with that. You don't need narcotic pain meds possibly taking over-the-counter azo or peridium could be helpful if you have more burning than you're comfortable with and you can get that over-the-counter. And then there is a small chance that it doesn't work 100%. I've had a couple of patients as well where after a few months, the, the benefit sort of goes away, so we have to go back in. But for most of our patients, it lasts 10 to 12 years according to the studies, and it's a very easy procedure to undergo. And if I'm recommending it for you, then I believe that the benefits of this small little procedure far outweigh the small little risks.